I have no idea what I'm doing and if this will actually taste good. So we all want to be that girl. The girl that lives an aesthetically pleasing life, that goes to the gym, works out, eats healthy, still manages to find time for friends and family. The girl that has her shit together, looks beautiful. Basically the girl that we see all over TikTok and Pinterest and Instagram. But you know what? That's just not real life. That's just not realistic because real life is messy and hard and difficult and most definitely not aesthetically pleasing whatsoever. Like, of course, I also post my best moments online and to some it may look like I live the perfect life, but I have my struggles as well. And that's why I want to use this video to kind of get my life together a little bit more, to get organized, but also show you you guys the real side this is not gonna be some sort of huge transformation I'm just gonna show you some things that I've incorporated into my life to make myself feel better and feel healthier so the first thing that we're going to do today it is the morning so we're going to do some skincare um, I literally just woke up put on this dress because it's like super hot I'm super sweaty I don't look the best in my opinion, so we're gonna change that and perform some magic with my gua sha. So first step in becoming that girl, skincare. So to me, when it comes to skincare, it's not only about having that perfect glowing skin, you know, appearance wise, it's more about feeling that I, oh, that's very overexposed, here we go. Um, it's more the feeling that I'm taking care of myself, that I'm doing something to make myself look and feel more beautiful. So uh, yeah, I feel like skincare is a really important step of my day and I definitely don't want to feel rushed while doing it. And I have to admit there are times where I just skip my skincare routine and go straight to work because I feel like I'm busy and I don't have time for it. But it's so important to make time for little routines like this to do some self-care, especially in the morning. So I got my gua sha. Let me grab my favorite cream. Okay, so um, this looks a little bit messy, but literally guys, I have so many products and I already sorted this out. So for me, this is quite organized. So of course, Soon Jung, my favorite products ever. Um, I'm going to wash my face first. And this, you guys, is one of the best cleansing waters ever for sensitive skin, highly recommend. Also, let's use this eye cream today. I haven't used it a ton, only like two or three times, but it's this one from Perito, and so far I've been really liking it. So let's do some skincare. Don't care, good morning dance party, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm acting crazy as usual. Let's get to work. Okay, skincare is done. It literally takes less than five minutes to do your skincare. So no excuses anymore. Always wash your face, put on some cream that is super important. You don't need any expensive toners or serums. Just invest in the basics and that will not only change your skin, but also your mood because I feel so good right now. I feel glowing and ready for the day. Now it is time for breakfast. So I had this super cute idea. I have this coconut and I thought how much fun would it be to make a little coconut yogurt bowl. So I'm just gonna put some yogurt in here and then with some berries and banana and muesli. Um, let's see how it turns out. This is the first time that I'm doing something like this for breakfast. Okay, lacto-free yogurt. This looks so cute already. So I got some berries. I love strawberry. Berry, berry, strawberry. So these actually come in a bag like this. They're frozen and then I just let them cool off in the fridge and then they are perfect to eat and this will save you so much money. And it's also better for the environment because it creates less waste since these are frozen. Ta-da! And then one banana, slice it up. Okay, this looks so cute because I wanted to make it aesthetically pleasing. I only added this much banana, but I will eat the other banana. Don't worry about that. But that just didn't fit into the bowl. Oh, this is so adorable. 
So I added a little bit of this muesli and now it looks like this. I'm so proud of myself. Look how adorable this looks. Oh my God. Next time I will do this with actual coconut yogurt, but it's already amazing. Totally recommend this. So after I finish eating this, it is time for our next step of becoming that girl. And that is of course working out. So the first exercise that we will be doing are spider crunches. So you're going to move your knee to your elbow and then straight to your elbow, straight to your elbow and look at your elbow whilst you crunch. I got something smooth in my cup, yeah. I drops when they go take a puff, yeah. Today I have been feeling so bad. My stomach is hurting like crazy and I feel super bloated. So these Gymshark leggings cover quite a lot actually. But then when I lower them down and I breathe all the way out, you can definitely see how bloated I am. And to be honest, like the looks part, like of course it doesn't look as good as my visible abs, but that's not even the worst part of it. The worst part is just that I'm in so much pain and I actually already started my workout for today. I did like a 10 minute routine, but it was not working out at all. I tried to do abs but it was just horrible. I couldn't finish the moves. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because even for me, as somebody who works out on a regular basis, who post workout videos, it's still very hard to work out sometimes. And I am also sometimes struggling with exercises. I also lack motivation from time to time. I also have off days, but I'm not going to let that stop me because together we're going to become that girl. And that means that we can't quit. We are fighters, we're fender fit, we're strong. So I'm going on my mat again and I'm going to try to complete another five minutes of my app workout. So we're going to do this together. Let's glow. I just put on a really good playlist. Okay, I'm ready. I'm not a quitter, and if you ever think about quitting in the midst of your workout routine, just think about the feeling that it will give you afterwards. Think about how proud you will be when you feel done and accomplished, and that will keep you going. Let's do this, Fenders! And the next step is, of course, to get vaccinated. So I'm waiting for my vaccination right now. I still have some time left, so chai latte with oat milk it is. And yeah, it's just so weird to see all these people here. It's like so extremely busy. And of course, all people from my own age group uh, in my area. So that's really odd because I haven't seen this many people gather together in a really long time, but I'm really excited to get vaccinated finally. Um, so yeah, cheers on vaccination. I did it guys, I got the vaccination and the lady who was vaccinating me was so extremely sweet i'm so happy that i got it finally back to normal life again and now i'm here with pommy we're sitting near the water it's so beautiful here and by the way got these super cute new pants from lip hop shoes are nike this super cute jewelry these are my bracelets of the day and the necklace and the top are also yes so by the way we're outside so i don't need my mask anymore oh, such a beautiful day okay guys it is a couple of days later and i'm not gonna lie i still feel a little bit tired because of my vaccination yeah i don't know what it is like my muscles are really sore and i've heard it from other people as well i know it's pretty common but it's still something to keep into account plan a relaxed week after you get your vaccination um and yeah i just worked out hence the sweaty face because obviously i already talked about the importance of working out and even though i still didn't feel great today i worked out and now i feel so much better so much more accomplished and of course to see the full effects of your workout it is really important to eat healthy i 
thrive when my diet consists of fruits and veggies um, but I have also been trying to incorporate some new things into my diet because of my stomach pain I've been drinking lots of kombucha I can definitely recommend this one from Equinox. This is the raspberry and elderflower one. But they also have a ginger one that's really nice. And you guys know I'm addicted to matcha lattes, especially those from Starbucks. But obviously those are really expensive. But I do want and kind of need that matcha kick on a daily basis, so I got this. This, you guys, is matcha powder from Tree Fida. And you guys are probably like, Sam, we already know about matcha powder, but this is the first time in my life that I bought something like this for at home use. And I'm so excited. Also, especially for this occasion, I also got this super cute ice cube tray that you can just fill and make your own ice cubes with. So let's make some matcha. Okay, so I got some lavender. I saw it from outside. And I'm gonna put that in with some water. So it is the next day and I just popped these beauties out of the freezer. I have no idea what I'm doing and if this will actually taste good, but I added two tablespoons of this matcha powder. And now we need coconut milk. Okay, review. I definitely added too much in the beginning, so it was a bit lumpy, but after stirring for what feels like an hour, I got rid of all the lumps, and I also like spooned out some of the lumps, and now taste test. It actually tastes pretty good, you guys. So homemade matcha success. Cheers guys, it is post-workout matcha time again, and my matcha has been tasting a lot better recently because now I got my recipe right. I know exactly how much to put in, but it's still like super lumpy no matter how hard I stir. So if you guys have the best tip to make the best at home matcha, please let me know because like clearly I'm not a pro yet. Okay, next and final step in becoming that girl for hot girl summer is definitely reading books. And I... I can't even carry this snack. Okay, I recently got myself all of these books. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Like, I could literally work out with these. I blame Book Talk. I have been addicted to Book Talk, and I actually am really glad that I found that corner of wholesomeness on TikTok because I have been enjoying reading so much. So some of you guys might not know this, but I actually graduated from university with a Bachelor of Arts and we had to read a lot because I did French language and culture, which is basically a literature and history major. So yeah, I read tons and tons of books, um, especially when I was younger, but also in university. And that kind of made me fall out of luck with reading for a while because I had to read and I didn't do it for pleasure. It became kind of a chore and I kind of gave up on reading. I don't know why, but recently I have been really enjoying books. That's how heavy they are. They knock over my tripod. It's a never ending saga. San and her tripod and her camera almost falling, but it never falls. Um, so I have recently been reading these books and two that I finished already are Malibu Rising and Girl Out of Water. Malibu Rising, you guys, five out of five stars. Like I couldn't say enough amazing words about this. If you guys want me to do like a full in-depth book video of all the books that TikTok recommended me and my opinion, if they're worth it or not, then please let me know because I'm kind of planning on making a video like that. So please let me know if you would like that. But just a little spoiler before I even make that video, go get this book now. This is the best book I've ever read. Like, it's everything. Oh, and the smell of new books, so good. So after that one, I read this one, Girl Out of Water. I made like mini reviews also on my Instagram stories and that highlight feature. And now I'm actually gonna start a new book and I think I'm going for this one, Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. And guys, let me tell you, I have the perfect reading setup. This is my perfect reading hotspot. Got my book right here. And I know it's no Ibiza, but you know, this is the closest that I can get right now. So yeah, the kiddie pool is definitely the place to be. I will be reading my book 
right here and I'm just gonna enjoy myself so much. Okay, I have been reading for quite some time now and now it's time to sit in the shade. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you a little bit with small things you can do to become that girl. Obviously, you don't need to change at all whatsoever, but um, these are just some tools that can help you to become a better person for yourself. Please don't do this because it's trendy or aesthetic. Do this because you genuinely want to feel fit and healthy and productive and just be a hot girl this hot girl summer for nobody but yourself. Love you guys. Stay gold.